Hi, Scott Blanchard here again, and picking up on the local magic lead generation site demo. Uh, you've got uh, in front of you, this is the default local magic uh, template, as well as the website here. And I want to um, pick up where we left off, which is here on the local magic wide version. And you can see that the difference being that the opt in form here is uh, wider uh, than the default so that would be one of the reasons you might want to switch over to the wide version again you get when you order this the ten dollar template package and you get three template skins in one so you get alt uh, the regular version as well as the wide version and the alt version is really similar to uh, this one except for that it has a solid uh, blue background let me show you that real quick to give you a flavor of the variety of different looks um, you can achieve and as well as the footer area you can see is darker with lighter text uh, as opposed to the uh, the standard version I can click here to go back to the standard version you can see I've got a lighter footer area so whichever uh, look you prefer you can really with a click of a button switch between those three variations so what we're gonna do real quickly in this video is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to customize these options, their phone number, the text that's, that appears, the text that appears on the submit button, as well as you can uh, even customize the text that appears in these placeholder uh, I elements here. Uh, you can also customize the uh, element that appears, the intro text up here, and you can reverse whether you want, maybe you want the phone number to appear above this text. Uh, you can also do that as well as you can change the title that appears in the lead generation form and you can determine whether or not to show this little check check mark uh, at the top so uh, we're going to be doing that we're also going to change these images out these are just the default um, stock photography images that come when you install jumpstart they're just intended for placeholders but we're going to actually put some more meaningful images there of people that I've downloaded uh, to to show you how to do that. And it's always good if you can show a face on a website. It's really engaging and attracts the eye, especially to a part of the, the page that you want to attract attention to. So it's a really effective way to, to uh, in decrease bounce rates and increase the time on your site. So that's the first thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to change these images out into uh, that the slider widget is uh, displaying. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the admin of this particular website and I'm going to go to media and uh, you can see the, the slide one, two, and three are here. Now the first thing I'll need to do is just delete those. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on each one of those and select delete permanently. Now it's important you do this because uh, WordPress will not overwrite those images with new images and keep the same file name and that's uh, important because our widget is expecting slide 1.png, slide 2.png and slide 3 because that's the way it's coded so you need to make sure that the images that you upload to, uh, to there are the same so I'm going to go ahead and click on add new here and I can just drag and drop my images which I've got three images here I can just select those and drag them up here to the installer file and you can see that they've already been uploaded now the thumbnails to see the thumbnails and this is a problem with WordPress but you would not they don't look like they've changed from what they they were but um, they actually have it's just the, the browser is caching those so you can see that those images have actually changed when I refresh the browser and I can come back use the ClickBump 5 shortcut site preview to come back and check take a look at the website and now you can see I've got some much more uh, much better images here uh, and I can also adjust the width of this uh, this little uh, text container here within theme options uh, via point and click to make more room for uh, the images for example we're kind of hiding this face here so we could you could decrease that size, but you get the idea. It's very easy to do that stuff, and you can access that all through the ClickBump 5 panel here. You just click on ClickBump 5, and then you can go to Layout, 
and here's all the slider settings you see they're all labeled as slider and I could change that text box width to something uh, different by default it's about 50 percent so you can see how to do that but now I want to go through and I want to show you how to change the labels on the lead generation form um, and I also want to show you how to remove this maybe you, you just want a clean look over here on the side um, and so I'll show you how to remove that and I'll also show you how to uh, clean up this text this is just the default homepage sticky content that Jumpstart Pro adds on here and it's really sort of like a tutorial to show you how to use the template so we'll remove that and we'll also add the Pinterest button here while we're at it so we'll do all those things and it'll take uh, maybe a couple of minutes uh, tops but um, it's really quick to do so again you're going to click go back to the WordPress admin click on click bump 5 so the first thing we'll do is we're going to add the Pinterest button and that's under the social tab here so I can click here uh, I'm just going to unselect uh, show Facebook featured image because I'm not using that and I'm going to select on the Pinterest button there so that's really all I have to do and I can click apply changes and go back and refresh this page and now when I scroll down I'll see that I've got a pin it button now added and that's added to all of my pages and posts uh, automatically so all I had to do was just do click on that button to enable that so now I want to remove this current post uh, menu and that's also controlled via theme options and I can go to uh, in this case the layout and I'm going to go to the hide you see all the, there's the hide section and I'm going to say hide current post menu you can see I'm also hiding the home page post title if I unselect that then I would actually see the home page post title under that slider but uh, for the purposes of the presentation I don't want to show that so I'm going to go back and uh, refresh that and you can see you can see the results there so I no longer have that menu over there and I've got a little bit cleaner look so now I'm going to reduce the size of this uh, text that's on the home page just to get a little bit cleaner presentation here for my opt-in form so and I could actually put the introductory text that I want to appear there so I'm just going to go ahead and um, select this text and remove it and I will leave the social media and share options there but I'll remove everything else and then just click update and refresh the form and now you can see I've got a little bit cleaner look so now I'm ready to edit this form to do that I'm going to go to the appearance menu and go to widgets and over on the right side I'll collapse this over on the right side you can see under sidebar I've got my lead generation form so I can just grab this little corner and if you're on Chrome I believe Firefox may do this as well you'll get this little corner pull menu so that you can expand the size of the uh, box to get more room to work. So the first thing you might want to do is change the submit button text and you can see that that is here. Um, so I just want to highlight that text and I'm going to change that to let's say I've got a product download I'm doing uh, an opt-in for so I can just say download now for example so I change that and uh, let's say I want to move the uh, phone number uh, up to the top so I can just grab that and select cut and I'll come up here to the top and paste that in uh, I can change the phone number obviously and I'll just make it an 888 number um, and that's all I'm going to do right now we'll just save that and I'll show you the changes on the site okay so you can see that I've uh, moved the phone number up to the top, but you can't really see it uh, because the top area of this particular widget is designed to be lighter than the bottom where the default is. So I need to address that, and I've included uh, a really easy way for you to alter the text to go from light to dark backgrounds. And for that, all you really need to do is add the word alt to that class that the uh, phone number 
is. So again, you just enter your mouse cursor to the right side of the E in phone, hit the space bar, and type the word Alt. So I'll do that and save, and now when I refresh, you can see that now my text has changed to a darker color to reflect better on the lighter background. Um, and I also changed the text of the button to download now, and so I've got uh, quickly edited my, uh, my form here to do a few other things. So let's say I want to just capture, maybe I don't want to capture the phone number, I just want to capture the full, the email and the, uh, the, the name. And I also don't want to put maybe your full name, maybe I just want to put your name. So I'll do those things within the form here, um, back on the widgets panel. So I can find the um, the phone number text. So I can just remove that. I'll just say cut. And under name, I'm just going to, you can see this placeholder equal full name. That's an HTML5 um, field that does the automatic highlighting of the hint text. So I can just remove that, uh, the word full, and I can just say your name. And save that. And I'm also going to add a little additional space here under the privacy policy because I, I think it needs a little space here. So I'm just going to add an empty paragraph tag here. And maybe I'll add the word thanks. Let's see. Okay, so now I can go back, refresh it, and... Now you can see that I've removed the phone field and I have the two fields here um, and my text at the bottom. So you can see that you can really quickly create a form, uh, a capture form, hook it up to your AWeber account and adjust the fields on the fly. And if you make a mistake, you can always go back to the original form just by dragging the wi another widget over and you can see it's got all of the defaults in there for you. So I hope that helps you build lead capture lead generation sites really quickly with the ClickBump software.